Printers are a complex subject. There's, there's just, they are. So here, let's get started. First of all, I want to walk you through some of the major players. Uh, Brother is probably a major player. It's a, it's a laser printer company. They don't do much ink anymore. I prefer them. I love them from, for a home use. They're probably the most reliable. And that's just my personal experience. I've had Epson, I've had OP Data, I've had everything at some point or the other. Uh, so for home use, a very small business use, Brothers are fantastic. They have a great mobile app. You can do almost everything with a Brother off your phone. So if you've got iPhone, iPad, or an Android phone, you don't even need a computer. It does almost everything right there. So integrates well with Dropbox, Google Drive, and a lot of those. Just from a, just a personal experience, this is a great product. They have everything from small to more of what we call work group. This is something you would, more, you would have more in a business environment. And they're pretty, pretty reliable. <clears throat> very low cost, you can get them very, very inexpensive. And these are all laser. Uh, this is a digital color printer with wireless for $249. And you could probably get one a little bit cheaper by just shopping. Another big player is Kerasea. Kerasea is a big, big player on the high end, the low end. A lot of copier companies sell Kerasea. So Kerasea is big. So when you need something like this guy right here, uh, you're probably going to spend 15 grand on this print right here. So this is about $15,000. Most cases, guys, you're going to lease these. You're not going to buy them. Very rarely are you going to buy a Kerasea, unless it's the small ones. Most of these, you're going to lease under contract, but they're very good. They have, they're have, they very, very durable. Uh, Kerasea has got a great reputation. These kind, uh, with multi-trays, they staple, they correlate, they make coffee, they... Um, they do everything. The bigger ones generally are going to be, generally these kind of printers are going to run 30,000. You're going to lease them, you're not going to buy them, and you're going to be under contract with a printer company for a Kerasea. But I will tell you, this is big business and there's a lot of money in this kind of a printer because they actually are cheaper than putting a lot of small printers out. If you're as an IT professional, many times you're going to recommend something like this. One of these in your company and everybody goes and uses that. These will allow you to print, you can email, uh, and you can scan everything and send it to uh, an email. You can do uh, correlation, uh, it will staple, it will do everything. It's pretty fancy stuff. So Kerasea, fantastic. They have low end, high end, small. $15,000 to $30,000 printers, almost, in fact, there's, this, is a, this is a business in itself, just installing these. You've got to be a pretty savvy IT person to install these because they've got to install on servers, they've got to be across your network, they've got to integrate with Active Directory. So you can make good money if you're an installer of these kind of products, you can make really good money, okay? Because you're, you're not only installing them, you're troubleshooting problems, and most of the time you're working for a copier company. But you are an IT professional, that's what you do. You do the, the heavy lifting. So that's a very good job. You can work for, in fact, I know a number of guys who work for copier companies. And all they do is do the complicated installs, the complicated troubleshooting with the network, active directory, user accounts, things like that. Um, so that's, that's another area, just all by itself. HP, I don't have to say much about HP, you all know about them. They have all kinds of printers from press, I mean big press printers, to the large format, to all-in-one. These are very, very popular. Um, most of them are laser. There are, they still have an inkjet line although inkjet is kind of going away. So HP still has laser and inkjet. They're very popular. They have great software. They have apps for your phone, apps for your iPhone, Android. Um, they work fairly well. Most of these are now wireless. 
uh, printers are getting very complex. They're not simple anymore. Now here's a new kit on the block. Samsung is relatively new and they're taking the industry by storm. I will tell you, they are taking the industry by storm. And I can only tell you one reason. Look at those prices. Wow. A fully multifunction device like this, for how much? They're really tearing up co uh, the competition because of their price and feature set. So Samsung has not been around a long time in the printer business. Now, I will tell you this. One of the big problems with Samsung is they're going entirely plastic. So the gear systems, the, the, the way that you, the mechanical package is all plastic, and so it has a tendency to have issues and problems. Now, another company, Epson. Epson is still ink. Epson has never left the ink world. Now, look what they're doing, though. These new inkjet printers are a whole new bag that we've never seen before. Look at these new inkjet printers. Number one, they're refillable. Epson is realizing we don't like to buy these tiny cartridges every five days. On their professional side, they're actually allowing you to refill them with large containers. Something nice about inkjet printers is the fact that the print quality is really nice. The color is vibrant. The pictures are extremely good. Who would want something like an inkjet printer? People are doing like art stuff. Art people, uh, photographers, who else is big that needs this kind of very nice color Bill print? Yes, <laughs> well, not probably. Who, who else do you think really loves this kind of stuff? Print shops. Print shops, sales departments, and I'll tell you, realtors. Realtors want to be able to hand out really nice pictures of the outside of the house, the inside of the house. Now, just to show you where this is going, I want you to look down here. I'm going to scroll down. This is now called the Epson Workforce Printer. It's called the Eco Tank. I love that. So if you look here, you're not going to put a cartridge in. You are going to do what? You're going to put a bag of ink. <laughs> so they, they are saying that this is two years worth of ink. What? Two years worth of ink. By the way, the replacement bags total 500 bucks a pop. Oh my god. So, now look, but think, if you're doing a lot of printing, no, you're a real estate right? agent, you don't want to be replacing those little tiny ink cartridges, yes? How much is the printer, though? The printer is a thousand, uh, twelve hundred dollars. So it's twelve hundred dollars. And, and it comes with one bag? It comes with two years of, of ink out of the box. It comes with two, up to twenty thousand color pages. So that's pretty, that's pretty good. In fact, if they hadn't went this way, they were going to be a non-issue. We weren't going to buy any jets. But they've really ramped it up. They're still very expensive, yes? That's still expensive. I can go to Kerasia and buy a monster color printer for $1,900, and my toner is very, very inexpensive. So be careful. I mean, do your homework. But how many times would you replace toner? Really? How much would you get? 20,000? Generally about 8,000 pages on a color toner. <laughs> Alright, so just be aware. Epson, HP, Heresia. Now there's one other company. Anyone know which one I missed? Yeah. Okie Data oh, wow. is another big one. Uh, they are another company. I couldn't get them up the other, uh, this morning, so let's see how they... Let's go to their color printers. So Okie Data is another uh, big company that has a variety of printers, both color printers, and uh, they're both laser. Most of theirs is laser. And they have been one of the few that have, have went with LED lasers. They use LEDs, not a laser beam, to do their... So those are the big companies. I don't he like Canon. The reason I don't like Canon and some of the others is because I've bought all of their products. They're not that great. They, the, the nozzles clog very, very quickly. So they do produce great inkjet, 
And they do have an office all in one. Uh, I'm not sure that they're notice they're they're not very expensive, but they get you on the uh, the, the ink cartridges. So those are those are some of the big Okidata, Canon, Epson. Epson seems to be doing some really interesting things with their work tanks, um, some of their uh, more professional products. All right, so let's talk about drivers. One of the biggest problems you guys have is when you go and you download a driver. So here we go. Who gets what kind of printer driver when you go to these sites and you start downloading drivers? Listen up carefully. If you want to blow up your printer server, if you don't want to blow up your printer server, you need to listen up very, very carefully because I'm going to demonstrate this. Number one, enterprise desktops generally get drivers only. Sometimes, though, they may get the full suite of software with that printer. So it will depend. If it's office staff, you may want to give them all the software. But in most cases, when I give you guys a driver for Samsung, I only give you what? A driver. That's it. Home users love what? Home users love everything. Give me all the picture, photograph, the calendar software. Give me the... So with home users, we do the full software and utilities. Little diagnostic tools, little tools that tell you you need to change your cartridge. Yes? They get everything. We do not do that on what? Enterprise. Enterprise. We don't put any utilities on their desktops. We manage them. Now look very carefully. When you are putting a printer on a server, you only install what? You're going to take a driver to that server only. And I'm going to show you that right now. When you're going to these websites, and I've already went to them, let's say I'm going to go to, I'm going to download the 3140CW. How do you know what to download? So I'm going to go to downloads on their online center, and I want you to look very carefully. You can download server software as well as client software. It is very important that if you're going to download server software, you know what version of server. If you're going to download server software, check these boxes and download the, and be sure to download the right stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and choose Windows 10 and I'm going to show you the difference. Windows 10 64. Notice this would be used for who? Home. Typically home. Notice the one below it. This would be used for an enterprise desktop or a Server. server. I would only use that. Now notice there's lots of other tools. Wait, did you, you select the server? I didn't, and I'll show you. I'm going to go back and do the same exact uh, printer, and this time I'm going to choose the server. You'll see very different options. Okay. But this allows you to load the, the, just the driver. This loads all kinds of junk. Okay, listen very carefully. Um, I encourage you, if you're at home and you've got lots of functionality with the printer, go ahead and download everything. But the enterprise desktop, give them just a driver. Generally, that'll work. All right, so I'm going to go back, same printer. This time, I'm going to go Server 2012R2. I want you to watch the difference. What does it give you guys? Just a driver. Just a driver. Now, I could, watch here, we'll go to Utilities. So it does give you, look at this, it gives you an admin tool. This allows you to search for any other brothers. So listen carefully, listen to me. If you bought all brothers in your organization, these admin kits allow you to install administrative software on your workstation and you can manage all your brother workstation, all your brother printers from one workstation. That's really good. So this is not what you're going to download in your server. You're going to download this if and only if you have all brother printers and you'd like to manage it through this administrative software. You would download that on your server? Or on your workstation. Computer. You find a workstation that you wanted to manage all your brother printers. You don't put this on a... The only thing you put on a server is what? A driver. A driver. You got it. Okay? Driver only. All right, so let's go look at let's go look at Kerasia. I went to one of their printers. 
And notice, very different. This is where you guys really have a hard time. I went to uh, one of their printers. This is the Eco FS 5250. Uh, and look at the options. So which one do you download? You better do it right. So let me show you. Notice you've got drivers for XP. We're not going to download that one. We have Linux. We have a macro generator. We're not going to use that one. So you must do your homework. Take a look at this one. This one does XP, Vista, 2008 server, Windows 7. So this is what we call, listen carefully, a universal driver. It will work on anything. And it's simply a driver. Be very careful that you, dr you pull down the right driver. So notice we got PCL drivers. I'm going to talk about that later. We're going to see we got XPS drivers. I'm going to talk about that later. Uh, and then we're going to find there's also what's known as PostScript. We're going to talk about that later. So be very, very careful. Here's an HP. Uh, actually, I think I downloaded I'm going to show you that. This is a Samsung. I'm going to go to uh, notice I am looking at their download page. Notice right here, I can download the Fleet Admin Pro. What do you think that is? Management software. What? That's management software. You only download that on a workstation if you've got all Samsung printers. So, how many Samsung, Samsung printers do we have on our campus? Lots. Mm -hmm. So this is a good, good thing to download on a workstation and it allows you to manage all your software. Now we, we see we've got easy wireless setup, no. PC fax utility, no. Mm -hmm. What do we got here? Printer driver for HP Unix. Everyone see that? No, we're not dealing with HP Unix. Look at here. IBM AX, AIX. That is an IBM software. So you've got to take your time. Solaris, that's Unix. So you've got to take your time and find the right printer. Notice this one. Universal, Vista, 2008, 2012, Windows 7, Windows 8. Does that look good? That's probably a pretty good driver. Here's another universal driver. So you must take your time, read, look, do your investigation. Don't get in a hurry. Don't make mistakes. Okay, so you find like three that will work for you. How do you choose the two? <laughs> well, you, you're going you're gonna to take a look at them carefully. This is a postscript. I'm going to talk about postscript later. This is a... Um, this one here is an XPS. I'm going to talk about that later. In fact, Windows 10, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 use a lot of XPS. We're going to talk about what is XPS. So one thing you want to do is look at these carefully. Make sure you're choosing the right driver. One thing we don't want is a lot of software. We want just simply the driver in most cases. I'm going to go to Epson. Okay, look here. I've got drivers. So do I want this one for who? Who would this be for? Home users. That would be for a home user. It may be for an enterprise desktop that's connected up to it. In most cases, I want what? Just driver. For that. I just want that print driver. That's it. So on my server, I just want that print driver. Why? Why does it say remote? Oh. What's, what's like V1.65 and V2.41? Um, is that just the number? That's just the megabytes. Oh. Okay, notice uh, this would be when you are remote desktoping into something. If you have remote desktop and you're remoting into a device, this is a very good driver if you're dealing with a lot of people that are using remote desktop. Okay? This is the one where you're going to be lo logged up, you're going to be putting on your server and your enterprise desktops. Look at your utilities. You want to be very, very careful. These are utilities that you want to be very careful. Make sure you know what they are before you install them. Don't install them on, don't install.